Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to The Vomity Show. Am I even... I'm, I'm not recording, serious? Oh wait, I am recording. <laughs> I will be releasing this video on Good Friday. And basically, if you don't know, Good Friday is like a Friday that's good. Anyway, this week I will be teaching you a very important lesson in life that you should learn before you die. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment what your favorite part of the video was, comment if you liked this video, and goodbye. <laughs> Are you struggling to gain popularity? Are you sad that your old friends will just leave you alone now? Well, guess what? I have a solution. And it is the Brandon's Mathematical Computational Calculatorial Sequence on how to become cool. Today, we will take very analytical approaches to modern day problems. Today, we ask very difficult to answer questions, such as, why do people avoid me when I don't shower for a week? Or, why am I the only one in my class who raises my hand? We will solve these problems using three simple steps. Welcome to the Brandon's Mathematical Computational Calculatorial Sequence. My tip number one for all cool people, walk slowly. It is proven that walking slower increases your lifespan and your productivity rate for, I don't know, something. It's just, it's proven, okay? Now we will provide some examples of what to do and what not to do. Here we see example one, a swag student walking very broad-shouldered, swinging side to side, walking nice and slow. This is a great example of what to be. And now example two shows a, someone, yeah, I don't know. Don't be example two. The second tip I have in my mathematical, calculatorial, computational process is to act like you always don't care. No matter what, it is scientifically proven that if you don't care about something, it means it can't be important, and what you do care about has to be important. And if nobody knows what you truly care about, then you have to be smarter than them. Here are some examples of people who have got it right. Example one, someone is asking you for a pencil. Do you say yes or do you not care? He's got it right, folks. Example two is also a great example of what you should do. Somebody asks you, can I have some food to feed my starving children? What do you say? That's right, you don't care. And example number three is something that you shouldn't do. Hey, can I borrow a pencil from you? Yeah, sure thing. Hey, what's your phone number? Maybe we can call sometime soon, like tonight maybe, because I don't have any friends. I would be really appreciative if you could call me. Also, how many Magic the Gathering cards do you have? I'm really excited about that kind of game. I'm just gonna... Have you got those two steps? Good, because we're moving on to step three. You're almost done with Brandon's computational calculatorial mathematical process. Yes, I know, I've mixed up the order three different times. I'm sorry, but that's the way of being cool because I don't care. Ow! Step number three. Cool people have really bad posture. Don't believe me? Check out your stereotypical cool person. An analytical eye could see that his posture is completely off and that he'll develop some very serious problems later on. But again, he does not care because he is cool. Now let's look at example two. This is something that you should not do. Teacher, teacher, I know the answer. It's x equals 69.42. I know it. I just know it. I calculated it in my head in 0 0.27 seconds. <laughs> and that was me screaming into the microphone. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good day. <laughs>